Hello everyone, it's me, Colonel RPG, and I'm here to play Baldur's Gate 3. I didn't mean to rhyme, but that's that's what I did to start this Let's Play. I have been on a little bit of a hiatus, I do apologize for that. I will be finishing on my other series, as I try to do, but this time I will be finishing Baldur's Gate 3. Single player, maximum difficulty, and if you don't know me, I am a, a big fan of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I, I grew up playing Baldur's Gate 2 specifically, but uh, then eventually got Baldur's Gate 1 and honestly fell in love with it. My favorite of the two. And I have Let's Plays for you in the description. I got links for the playlists, including including a, a, the, the time I finished Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 uh, with a single character. And uh, if you don't know Baldur's Gate, it is a party-based game based on uh, Dungeons & Dragons. This is, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is now based on Dungeons & Dragons 3, and it features turn-based combat, unlike Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, which was to, were at, uh, real time with pause. Now, I am partial for a turn-based game, and I'm very, very excited for that. So let's start a new game. Let's go. Tactician. I think we are the person who were just uh, injected with the little teeth goblin thing creature uh, there at the end. Uh, and uh, I will play Giladel, the sort of similar character to the characters that I tend to play, the rangers that I tend to play on Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. We're going to go with an elf, a wood elf specifically, for extra speed, a ranger. And uh, it's going to be... An urban tracker, so we have a little bit of sleight of hand since we are going to have so much dexterity. You can see the stats up here in the upper right corner of the screen. And uh, we're going to have Bounty Hunter so we can, uh, well, basically uh, do the disadvantage uh, uh, for ensnaring strike, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to have an Outlander kind of thing here, even though I think we're around Baldur's Gate. So Gilladel would be na you know, nat native to this area, but uh, but yeah, she's she's fine. And uh, the proficiencies are down here. You can also see them all on the right corner of the screen. And uh, this is it. Let's name her Gilladel, which means Elf of the Stars, sort of, more or less. Adele definitely means sort of sometimes elf, or uh, it's, it's like elf, elfish thing. I'm not 100% sure. It's usually Tui or tu Turi, or it's another word that starts with T U, um, in uh, Sin in Sindarin. I think that's the the term. In uh, I'm talking Tolkien stuff, by the way, not in Baldur's Gate D and D lore or anything. And Gil means star only in Gilgalad because I, I think he's usually uh, pronounced uh, given in other things. Gilgalad means light of the stars instead of um, other you know star yeah light. Although Gil might mean light. I don't know. This is an old name. I'm I just this is the name of my character. Let's proceed. You need a guardian. Choose one. That's our guardian, right there. Moving on.
I think my head. Were the illith are the illithids capturing people? Escape the naut the the nautiloid. That's that's where we are. That's just yeah. We've been abducted by mind flayers and infected with some kind of parasite. We need to find a way off the ship. Yeah, and I think the mind flayers were attacked by the gift Yankee somehow. Although they didn't seem like they they blew this up the nursery. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Did they break? I think they broke the pool on purpose so that the the the, the mind flayers I called them illithid but I don't I think that's I, I think that's still their name so that they couldn't have the parasites anymore. Let's uh let's do a skill check here. It's an easy one. There it is. 75% chance to succeed anyway. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. I uh, let's reach toward the pool and slightly slightly touch it. I think that's a net positive for the, the whole situation. We have restoration pods. We also have a mind flare. Anything of use? Yeah, that's the restoration pod over there. We have jade. I'll take that and I'll look into. The elements, if uh, they're important. Odd. I feel better. That's not odd. It was a restoration pod. It's correct that you feel better. Anyway, uh, moving on. Let's look around a little. Uh, because I don't know where that Githyanki is. And obviously she's a main character. She's one of the characters that we can, we can play as. Might be useful. That Onyx? Maybe. On it. The Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 has so many little gems. Baldur's Gate 2 in particular, but Baldur's Gate 1 as well. A cartilage, cartilaginous? Cart is it cartilaginous chest? That is a term that means that it's a chest made out of cartilage. Or cartilage? I don't actually know how it's, pronoun it's pronounced in English. But if you don't know what that is, it's just a, it's bone that isn't, you know, normal bone. It's like the thing we have in our ears or in our wrists if you haven't busted them up. Like I have with a whole carpal tunnel sort of situation. Anyway, um, yeah, let's move into the butthole. We go. Better not be cursed. It's called a sph sphincter, but yeah, it's it's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, goblin. Illithid record. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. That's all right. Who's calling? Who's... Let's actually quick save right now, because th that's the proper way of playing. We are trapped. Are you trapped? Who are you trapped? Who's the... A neural apparatus. Eldritch table. Tablet. What's that? A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. That's very unfortunate, because if it flashed in front of my eyes, then I would be able to see it. But as it turns out, I can't do that. Uh, who's the, who's the, who's saying? The what? Doesn't do anything. It doesn't, does it? Can you go upstairs? There's an elephant somewhere to the right. We are here. Here. Are you? A Mirnath, or just Mirnath. To save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? Because, you know, those are the two genders. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. 
You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think it's talking about the... The, the dragons. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. I don't want to do this. But... I'm okay with fighting this thing. So we have... Uh, let's inspect the exposed brain first. And it's an easy check with a plus four on our... Things, proficiencies and whatnot. You notice a edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. And I can break the skull to set it free, or I could gently prise the brain from the skull, which would be easier than... Oh, oh so basically I unlocked a, a strength check. I also have an advantage on um, medicine. Attempt a cerebral extraction, which is the same as the other ones, but yeah, staying mindful of the swelling. Let's do that. And uh, advantage means you roll you roll twice and pick the pick the highest roll. It's really powerful having advantage. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. I should do that, shouldn't I? Um, but I won't because of... Um, actually, let me look at dialogue history. That wasn't a skill check. That's just the narrator being a, a jerk. But I'm not gonna because uh, I'm playing on maximum difficulty. I will kill it if it proves a threat. Let's spare the creature. Any injuries might weaken it. It, this is a bad thing, by the way. These things will turn on me. They walk. Don't worry. It's normal. They they, they do that. That's normal. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. What, what, what's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Uh, what should I call you? Us. We are us. going to the helm. And I have a companion. A follower, in fact. Which is not a companion. Alright. That's not gonna bite us in the ass. It's probably not gonna. Don't worry about it. Let's go outside. Oh. The dragons are about. So it's not just the little demons. Abomination. This is your end. I'm not that ugly. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squall, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Uh, who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. What What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, 
Unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich. Mind Flayers. Days? So we're turning into Mind Flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. And she exits stage right. This is Bioware style. Let's go. I will attack her. All right. All right. So we rolled initiative. Do we actually get to see our rolls? I don't think we do. Uh, for roll for initiative. Um, so we have a uh, group. Uh, turn based instead of uh, well, it's not really group turn based, but if we roll together, we can go together and mix and match our moves, which is pretty good. Uh, we have Giladel over here. Let's look at our weapons right now. We have a short bow, which is not the best thing, and uh, Lazel. I'm gonna have trouble remembering her name. I'm sorry, it's it's, it's tricky. Uh, and uh, she has a long sword. Uh, actually, let's see what kind of character she is. Can I tell that? Character sheet. There it is. She's a fighter. She has a relatively good build. That 13 dexterity is a little bit of a pain. But, you know, not, not too bad. You know, it's, it's not too bad. She has great weapon fighting, which is better than normal weapon fighting. Just because her weapon fighting is great. Is great. Uh, we have martial uh, prodigy here, which uh, gives us some things in opportunity attack, which is good because that. You no, know, I do have that as well. Automatically attack an enemy moving out of your reach. It's a passive feat. Uh, that's normal. And uh, what else do we have? Skills over here. That's not important at the moment. Uh, armor class 16. Ours is 14. I think we're good. Okay. So what do we have? Three little creatures. Three imps. They. All have the same amount of health, which is cool. Let's get us to attack this thing. What kind of damage will we do? 4 to 10. That's 2d4 plus 2. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. So I'll just go for it. And that is 6 damage. Unfortunate. However, there should be a bonus action. There is not. The jump is a bonus action, which is interesting. Uh, it does trigger an atta atta attack, of attack of opportunity, which is not interesting. Uh, so we will use Lazel here. Her damage, can we tell? It's not 95%. It's a uh, 1d10 plus 3. Plus 3? Oh, it's plus 3 because of her uh, strength bonus. Uh, no, no, it is not. It is, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage is, uh, it also skills f with uh, strength. So we're just going to attack first. We can move a second. That's not really a problem. And I want to have as much of an attack of opportunity. Actually, I could have optimized that a little bit better because I don't think I'm in the range of that thing. Because uh, then we would have things like a pummel strike and, and stuff like that. Uh, but that is a problem. Because we could have done more damage. But we can't. I won't give in. And uh, have Giladel here, which will finish that thing. Although... Should I attack that? How much damage will I do with a normal attack? That is 1d6 plus 3. It's not amazing, but it's 95%, so I'll just open it. It's 5 damage. Not great. Let's just move back and end the turn. And you will end the turn as well. And you'll end the turn. Critical miss. Alright. Not too shabby. Let's get us to do the damage here. Fine with me. Let's get Lazel. I will ascend. To do the murder. Oh, I moved a little weird. Okay. And there it is. Easy peasy. You wanted the easy path. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. To the helm indeed. Let's just loot these things. I don't think they, they have anything that matters. We have an, a hand axe. But I want just a long bow if I can get one. A scimitar would be interesting. Uh, this is a... I don't know what type of weapon it is. I think it might be a martial weapon. But I am a, a, a ranger, so... 
So I probably will do better. The light bow is better than the short bow, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And the scimitar. Yeah, I'll put it over there. And as for you, the longsword. And yeah, the hand axe is a single-handed weapon. It'd be cool if uh, she had a shield, but she has a two-handed sword. So no shield for her. And another light crossbow. She is likely proficient as well in light crossbows. Yeah. So she'll go with that. It is based... It is dexterity based as well, right? She got a sub plus one because of her dexterity. Yeah. Because uh, every two points above ten is, is a plus one. And every two points below ten is a minus one. And we have another uh, one of the healing thing. It's a dead thrall here with some potions. I'll have to distribute the potions appropriately later. And there it is. The ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. We will do that. And all of our mistakes have been cleansed, basically. It's a bunch of money. I don't know th where the dragons went. Ooh, well, we're going to a different level. Oh, there's a butthole over there. Uh, yeah. Oh, fair warning, speaking of buttholes, this game does have uh, nudity and uh, genitals and I think sex scenes? So there's that, but it's fine. It, YouTube will only demonetize the videos where they do show up. Not every video, at least I don't think so. Back! Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. I touch everything without knowing its purpose. What? The backpack here. Mm-hmm. I'll get that. Oh, look at that! It's a touch! There's also a sacrificed cultist. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. There was a... Um... Huh. There was a skull in uh... a skull brooch. Ooh, what's that? I need a quick word. I do need a quick word. Come back! Can't get a quick word. Okay, I can enter turn-based mode. Intellect Devourer. You are beautiful. Thank you. I am indeed. Spent uh, spent a lot of time making my character. Anyway. No what? Illithid manuscript here. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Brain in a jaw. Did I just get that? A dark mind. It is. A humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition, suspended in cerebral fuel, fluid. It's a cave. It's a, 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 a elaborate reliquary. I need thieves stole to pick this lock. Can I? I can't. I don't have a thieves tool. I will figure that out. I will figure that out. Uh, excuse me. What's going on? Here goes nothing. What's that? Get me out! You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. No, she's one of the characters. I'm gonna look for a latch that might open the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Well, I... Uh... I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! I will do that. Save the game as well immediately because that's how we play. Uh, contraption next to the pod. Wait. Oh, that, th that thing. The touch, of course. The console appears dormant. I'm going to look for a switch or a release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Uh, leave. I don't think hit it means hit the empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Yes. Let's go into the butthole again. 